ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. All right, so I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole drama with Howard Stern and Wendy Williams. So if you guys don't know, on the Wendy Williams show, she was talking about Howard Stern's book, and basically she was promoting his book, and then she goes on to say that, you know, Howard has changed. He's kind of gone Hollywood. Everything he does is so predictable. And, um, you know, she says what she had to say. And when I tell you, honey, like we say in the South, a hit dog will holler, Howard Stern got his damn boxers in a bunch, okay? He went in on Wendy Williams, started dragging her, brought the husband into it and everything else. I want y'all to go ahead and watch this news clip. Y'all go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Howard Stern is not happy with what Wendy Williams had to say about him on her show. What? These two are fighting now? <laughs> um, had some major praise. Wendy had major praise for Howard, but then near the end she decided to take some jabs at him as well. Two people I admire um, that got me to where I am in my head, Oprah and Howard Stern. I always tell you that. For two very different reasons. Howard Stern has a new book coming out. It's like number one at Amazon. It's going to be number one for a long time. Everybody's going to buy this book. It's his first book in over 20 years. And it's called How... He still looks good, doesn't he? Yeah. It's called Howard Stern Comes Again. Oh. Well, they say, the, the, look, the, they say, no, that Howard's been gone. Stop with the laughter. <laughs> Howard is so Hollywood right now that this book is going to be, this is what you're going to, and Howard, I love you. But since you've gone Hollywood, everything that you say is so predictable. Every story is going to be about, you know, Oh, I love this one. And then we went on their yacht. And he's a Hollywood insider now, which sucks. Because you're, you started, like me, being of the people. But at some point, you sat behind that microphone for too long. And now you are the people. And for somebody like me, like, it, it hurts. Okay. So get She's not alone in the feeling that she just articulated it really poorly. Okay, so here but we go. Get ready for Howard's response. Yeah. He went on about an over 30 minute rant bashing Wendy on his Sirius XM radio show. Here's yeah. a few of the highlights. Wow. The f wrong with her? Broad doesn't have an original thought in her head. Busy being Howard Stern. And now, now she's got. Now, 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 you mean because I've had success, I'm Hollywood? Well, because I know Jimmy Kimmel? That's real Hollywood. Who am I hanging out with? She doesn't know even who I'm hanging out with. She doesn't know what I do with my life. She doesn't know who I go, who I hang with. You're sp you Worry about your husband, not me. Sick of her. her show. Howard's Hollywood. What does that mean? That means I suck, right? That's what it means. Uh, apparently, you're not giving us the lowdown anymore because yeah, you like yeah. everything. Here's the lowdown. Yeah, I do like some people. Some people are talented. You know, maybe I'm not maybe I'm not as selfish where I have to put everyone down anymore. I'm not in that place. Ugh, she just ruined my day. All right, so you guys just heard Howard Stern, honey. He's definitely in his feelings. I mean, he was so upset. He's like, you know, you don't know who I hang with. Uh, you're a jealous bitch. And um, why? Because I know Jimmy Kimmel. I can't hang with Jimmy Kimmel. And it's like, dude, just calm down. And then he goes on to tell her to worry about her dumb show and her mystery illness. I mean, he was so upset that it made me give him the side eye. <laughs> 
because again she didn't say anything that bad for him to get really upset and obviously it must be true he must have turned Hollywood because why would that particular you know what I'm saying verbiage get him that upset it makes no sense she told everybody buy his book and then he goes on and basically goes in and drags her by her damn wig okay and I feel like at the end of the day he must be really insecure about that subject because his response to what she said was not that damn serious he's been criticizing people now for over a decade he done drug everybody and they mama but then when somebody says that he's gone Hollywood all of a sudden the shit hits the fan he can't take it now he's having a bad day all because she said you went Hollywood obviously it must be true bro because otherwise you wouldn't be that damn pressed okay now Wendy Williams has responded you know, to Howard Stern's shade in the best way Wendy does. When people go low, she tends to go high with her responses. So this is what Wendy Williams had to say. She says, showed love to Howard Stern this morning about his new book, Gonna Buy It. He had his wife on my show several times. Being told that he's being nasty to me on his show. It's all good, Howie. I still admire you, old man. The truth is the truth. So Wendy is not here for the foolishness. She didn't disrespect them, but she's not taking back anything that she said as she shouldn't because I don't think she said anything that damn bad, especially that warranted him going on this huge tirade and huge rant. So this entire situation is crazy, but I do feel like Howard Stern has kind of changed. He has gone kind of Hollywood, but he's still an OG in the radio industry. But at the end of the day, his response was definitely uncalled for. And uh, he just proved that damn saying all the way 100%. A hit dog will holler. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Wendy Williams basically giving her opinion, you know what I'm saying, on Howard Stern and how he behaves now. And then Howard Stern basically dragging Wendy Williams by her wig and being so in his damn feelings. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. Deuces.